Good afternoon, it's Jilly Key from Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. This is uh, part one of my uh, little um, experiment that I'm doing. So I'm actually just doing some shading on this particular canvas with the dimensions acrylic. So I'll kind of show you as I go along is I'm not um, it's not actually anything fancy or anything I started it then I wasn't going to uh, film it but then I thought no I'll show you from the beginning to the end of my little endeavor here so it's using the uh, purple 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 violet sort of using these colors to I'm going to shade these colours in so it's just a quick and easy way of putting some shading in I'm not uh, doing anything fancy 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 so using the dimensions colours I've got just my little sponge brush that I've dipped in some water first so it's just coating your canvas like I said it's just dipped in a bit of water so it, it'll spread nice and easy um, I don't want to reveal my plan for this until I get a bit further into it but it's having a, a few uh, different techniques put into this particular little piece of art so this is just a, a nice easy thing that you can do you don't have to be any fine artist it's something that you can have fun doing and enjoy it it's just basically keep it keep it all covered just cover your painting so we're not actually doing a pour today but it is um, using acrylic paint so still in the uh, acrylic painting mode acrylic paint mode should I say so it's just making sure you covered and if you want to keep your sponge like your paint being able to spread just keep a little pot of water beside you to keep um, popping your sponge into to spread it I sort of want it to look like a bluish sky sort of so it's just shading just shading your colors using those colors to keep shading in that's going back to my original artwork that I used to like doing was just acrylic painting um, so it's just giving you guys another choice on a little art journey that we're on or you guys are on with me I, but I do intend on doing some hot gluing in this I just want that white it's kind of looking like a bit of a sky and ocean -y kind of look okay so that is stage one done done and dusted so I will leave this to dry and then I'll be back with you guys again might just put a little bit more white in there and that's the silver pearl white so these just the Montmartre dimensions paint so I've, I've used these oops that is a big blob I've used these paints to put pouring medium in and I could have done it the way and done a pour over this same thing but I just thought I'm gonna just try something a bit different so I just want to add a bit of this to so you can put your colors down like that and just keep shading them in until you feel happy with it for whatever you till your little heart desires so there you go easy peasy lemon squeezy 
Just see if I've got that back covered. Yep, just a piece here. So, leaving that to dry. Okay guys, back to stage two. Stage two. So I have my little, it's a hot glue gun. So I have put, just put it on. Um, and I'm gonna add some hot gluey bits. So obviously I need to wait till it starts to um, heat up and come out the end. So I've just had it. Th these little hot glue guns are very inexpensive. Um, the link to the site, uh, Capriol Shabby Chic sells them is below in the drop down box um, and you just buy these hot glue refills um, they're just nice for embellishing and doing odd things odd different things so I'm going to do a few different things over the next oh no I shouldn't have done that I'm waving my hand about anyway anyhow um, here we go so what I'm adding is just some string lines coming out very fine so I will go back over so, so squeezing the hot gluey stuff out might have to go back over these because I want the string lines thicker I want them to stand out from the canvas so my intention will be is when I've done the stage after this one which will be my balloon dips that then I will paint these string lines uh, just with a touch up paints to so they look like the they're attached to my balloons I'm going to do the um, balloon dips so they look like they are balloons with strings attached in the sky so I'm trying to do them a bit thicker oh that's very hot tip do not put your finger under the hot glue because it is blooming hot so so up yeah I want them quite thicker so this is yeah just the sort of the ribbon that would be attached to a balloon so I'll do the balloon dips on top of these just something a little bit different again keep trying something different keeps it interesting and you can either you know think no that that's not for me it's not what way I want to go or you just give it a try if it's something that you think yes it's probably a good one to do for if you've got a grandchild for um, a grandchild's bedroom with the hop, hop, uh, with balloons in it so hopefully this is going to be for one of my new grandchildren this bedroom so it's kind of boy or girlish isn't it so you can kind of guess the tangent that I'm going on here there you go so it, I think I'm just just doing the three I think that'll be enough because this is a small canvas so I'm going to um, try it on this smaller canvas then move to a bigger one so bear with me for stage three okay we're on to stage three um what i've done is i've just using this piece of card as a bit of back i've got some bubble wrap i have absolutely no idea whether this will actually make any difference but what i intend doing now try and keep it all in the frame is pouring some oops my balloons are flying all over the place um i'm gonna just pour 
some paints, acrylic paints, just my normal, normal stuff. Obviously it would be better if that was out the way for a minute. So I'm just going to pour some acrylic paints in some nice bright cheerful colours over the piece of bubble wrap. Doesn't matter what way, I don't believe. Um, just nice cheerful bright, bright colours because this is what I'm going to use to dip my balloon into to get my balloon dips on my canvas so they're just nice bright cheerful colours might just give that a so that's the the month they're just the month mark mixed with my pouring medium that'll be in the recipe down below so some blues in there reds orange and yellow all the Montmartre studio acrylics in the nice bright color so oh, I might make this go muddy by doing what I'm doing but I'll just check it out as I put my balloon dips onto it okay right yo so I'm gonna just move this to the side it's where I'm gonna dip from and I haven't put my gloves on so that's naughty me I'll just move it there I've got a couple of balloons blown up in the different um, different what you call it uh, different sizes different sizes okay so I've got this real little one I've got a bit bigger one but I think this may be too big so I'll just start with the little one I'm going to just dip it straight into my acrylic paint and then I'm going to pop it at the top of these balloony things which I actually think it could do with a bigger balloon. I'll just do the small ones first. Oh look at that, pretty, very pretty. So this is my try for doing a nice big long canvas with it on but I've got a little bit further twist in the twist in the tail as yet so I'll, I'll try the bigger one I wanted it to look like balloons but remember I've put my little bit of um, what you call it hot glue so it looks like they're attached to the well I suppose it, if they look more like flowers then you keep it uh, looking like a flower and then turn your hot glue into uh, doing some leaves as well that that's um could go either way so that's how it can change from looking looking like the idea in my head was uh, balloons but um seems to be going the way of a bright flower in there so come back with the just doing the smaller one inside of that bigger one might do one that got away hey up in the the one that got away oh my goodness that's remember this one is in my it's for a child's room so I want it to look really bright and vibrant for a child to look at so there you go I'm gonna leave it at that stage no I'm not doing no more I'm not doing no more she said you might have to break my fingers but I'm, I'm, not doing, I'm leaving it like that now my next intention when this is fully dry is I'm going to I've got this I'm going to highlight where I've got the string with this um, it's Montmartre where's me Duvalake it's just like a it, it's a little gold paint so you can dip it in a user brush which I will just give you a quick a quick demo um, I've just got a small brush so my idea to do this I mean I suppose I can do it now was to just follow the hot glue 
so I'm just highlighting where I've got the hot glue and these are perfect these are just a little Montmartre acrylic paint tubs uh, where's my Duvalaki it's gold foil paint so it, it shows up nice it's gold foil paint um, from Montmartre there I get them from the um, Capriol Shabby Chic so they're there in the drop down box and I'm doing it just to highlight this hot glue so it's got a bit of texture in it and it's you yeah, know it's mixed media then isn't it so it's more of a it's just easier that you can dip in these little I'm holding on to my wrist with the other hand because it just steadies your hand so even if you you know you know lots of people say I'm no artist neither are, you know neither am I <laughs> I just give it a go so that's just a way of highlighting those hot glue parts so and then my intention when it's fully dry is only to resin the balloon bits so they're sheeny shiny so it's kind of for even for a little child to be able to touch the painting you know and feel the different textures that's going to be a nice thing too and if it isn't for a child that you're doing it for are you doing it for yourself or you're doing it for a gift or to sell it's still part you know it's still nice having the different textures in your paint so you can leave that to dry and go over it again if you so choose but it seems to have covered it really nicely like I say I wanted them to look like balloons but they're more like flowers so I suppose um, what you would do to make them look like balloons is actually dip them in drier paint and they come out looking more like a medallion but um, I'm quite happy with those. Might do a bit of embellishing through the tip of my. That's absolutely fine. So yeah, that's just that little gold, gold foil paint. So that's great for highlighting things. I um, suppose you can mix it up with your no normal pouring medium, but I I wouldn't because these little containers are just great for doing touch up things like that so um, the next stage in this game will be to my intention is only to resin the circles the little balloons or little flowers so it's a nice bright uplifting piece and remember it's for a child's it, this one is for a child's bedroom so there you go I could have done a better job I think with the um, the hot glue gun but um, I'm pretty new to using the hot glue gun so I'll just keep giving it a try I will just do one thing is uh, with my heat gun over the nice bright areas the resin 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 just over my hot balloons hot balloons <laughs> okay thanks for joining me okay next stage was to um i've just used some of let me get it i'm going to see if this works it may not the pouring resin i just put into oh i'm going crazy into a cup with a little bit of water and a little teeny tiny bit of the so I just use the pouring resin in with a tiny bit of the dragonfly the dragonfly glaze I just put a spot of dragonfly glaze in the pouring resin to give it some sparkle um, and I'm just poured randomly only on the uh, little balloon medallions and I'm just letting it do its own thing because it's not something that has to be exactly on the medallion itself 
I just it's just to add to the texture on the painting um, yeah that one run off a bit but I'm not worried about that this is it looks cloudy but it will dry um, clear so it'll dry clear with a sparkle in it it's got the sparkle of the dragonfly glaze in there so yeah it was just just something I'm trying so I'm pouring the resin just on the medallion the balloony thing and I'm just gonna let it do its own thing I don't like I said I'm not exactly wanting it just exactly around the circle I want it to just add a bit of something soft to touch in those um, colored bits so it's going to be a touchable painting but you can see the dragonfly glaze in there is just sparkling so we'll just see how it dries and hopefully it dries just gorgeous I can go over the whole lot when it's finished with uh, just the clear clear um, coat of of this which what I would do is just put this pouring resin with some water into a container and then just get my cloth and wipe over the whole lot so it will seal the whole lot of the painting this is looks cloudy at the minute so I'm sh it will just dry clear and hopefully with a sparkle in it so pour out every last drop So that's that stage on to the next one well uh, it'll be a, just a coat of like I said a light spray coat over that of either varnish or um, the pouring resin again so thank you guys for joining me as usual another crazy idea but it was it is for a child's room and uh, it's nice and bright and it you can still child could still touch it when it's obviously all dry and finished and feel the different texture in it so all good thanks until next time